Let's see how to create an Azure DevOps account. Under Azure DevOps account, you can create organizations. Under organizations, you can create projects. And once you create the projects, you will have access to boards, access to repos, access to pipelines, access to test plans, and access to ID facts. Now, Azure DevOps account is free. So let's see how to create this account. So open your browser and go to aex.dev.azure.com. If you have an account or an email address, then enter your email address here. If you don't have an email address with Microsoft, then click on create one. Remember that you can also use your IDs with uh, GitHub. So if you have a GitHub ID, you can also enter that and use that to sign into Azure DevOps. Now let's create a new account here. Now this ID is available. So that's why I was able to create it. Now let's create a password. Click on next button. Now I'm just entering some random dates here. So, so whatever is your birth date, you can provide that date. Now there is a security challenge here. So you have to, so it is now showing that you have to move this robot in the direction of the hand, right? So let's click on submit. So verific verification is complete and it is successful. Here you have to provide a few more details, your name, your email ID and all those things. So I will leave it as it is. I'll uncheck this and click on continue. So now the account has been created successfully and you can see the home page of the Azure DevOps. Okay, so this is the default home page. So here you can see the first thing without creating organization, you cannot do anything. So first of all, you have to create a new organization. So click on this create new organization button. Click on continue and here. So this is the default URL. So that will be that will be the so this is the base URL and then this will be your organization name. So every time you create an organization, so this particular name will change, but the base URL will remain the same. So uh, you can leave everything else as it is and then uh, enter these characters here. Now it is trying to create an organization. So now organization has been created. You can see it on the left hand side. Now let's create a project. Let's name it as eShop by default private and then click on create project. So the project has been created. Let's now go and create one more project. So go back to your organization, click here and click on new project. Let's create a project called as test project. Now here you can see there's advanced section. If you go to this advanced section here, you can see work item process. So there are different processes based on which a project can be created. So by default, there are four and basic is the default one which is created. But if you want to change, you can change. Now, the difference between this is every process will have its own cards. Okay, I'll show you how, what are the cards, but it will have different, like somewhere it will be a user story, somewhere there will be no user stories, user story card, or somewhere the user story card will be called as a prior backlog item. So like this different process will have different uh, cards and different features. So let's select Azile here and click on create. So now our second test project has been created. Let's go back to the organization and you can see here in the home page that there are two projects, test project and eShop. Let's now see what are the different process that I was talking about. So you have to go to the organization and under here you have organization settings. Click on this. Here you will have under boards something called as process. So click on that process. Here you can see all the processes, right? Basic, Agile, Scrum, CMMI. Now, if you go to basic, you can see these are different 
work item types available here. So epic issue task, right? And then some test related work items. Let's go back and select agile. Here you can see there are something else like bug, like feature issue. Now these are, these are the different things available here. So that is the difference between different projects. Like you will have different types of work item types or, or you can call them cards. So these different types of things will be available. Different, different features are available under different processes. Let's now go back to our organization and the project. As I mentioned you earlier, so under organization you have, you can have multiple projects. Similarly, under the account, you can have multiple organizations. Now under projects, once you have created the projects, you can see here some icons are coming up. Now these links, these are the main features of Azure DevOps. For example, boards. So it will help you to create different work items and manage your team. Then you have repos where you can store your code, you have pipelines, where you can do the continuous integration and deployment uh, settings. You have test plans where you can manage your test plans and then you have artifacts to store all the package related things. So this is the overall overview of the Azure DevOps account and the organization and the projects.